Frequency, Wikipedia Audio Frequency is the number of occurrences of a repeating event per unit of time. It is also referred to as temporal frequency, which emphasizes the contrast to spatial frequency and angular frequency. The period is the duration of time of one cycle in a repeating event, so the period is the reciprocal of the frequency. For example, if a newborn baby's heart beats at a frequency of 120 times a minute, its period a euro the time interval between beats a euro is half a second. Frequency is an important parameter used in science and engineering to specify the rate of oscillatory and vibratory phenomena, such as mechanical vibrations, audio signals, radio waves, and light. For cyclical processes, such as rotation, oscillations, or waves, frequency is defined as a number of cycles per unit time. In physics and engineering disciplines, such as optics, acoustics, and radio, frequency is usually denoted by a Latin letter F or by the Greek letter, I one half, or I one half. The relation between the frequency and the period, T, of a repeating event or oscillation is given by Definitions The SI-derived unit of frequency is the Hertz, named after the German physicist Heinrich Hertz, 1 Hertz means that an event repeats once per second. A previous name for this unit was cycles per second. The SI unit for period is the second. A traditional unit of measure used with rotating mechanical devices is revolutions per minute, abbreviated R slash min or RPM. 60 RPM equals 1 Hz. As a matter of convenience, longer and slower waves, such as ocean surface waves, tend to be described by wave period rather than frequency. Short and fast waves, like audio and radio, are usually described by their frequency instead of period. These commonly used conversions are listed below. For periodic waves in non-dispersive media, frequency has an inverse relationship to the wavelength, I. Even in dispersive media, the frequency F of a sinusoidal wave is equal to the phase velocity V of the wave divided by the wavelength I of the wave. In the special case of electromagnetic waves moving through a vacuum, then V equals C, where C is the speed of light in a vacuum, and this expression becomes When waves from a monochrome source travel from one medium to another, their frequency remains the same a euro only their wavelength and speed change. Measurement of frequency can done in the following ways. Calculating the frequency of a repeating event is accomplished by counting the number of times that event occurs within a specific time period, then dividing the count by the length of the time period. For example, if 71 events occur within 15 seconds the frequency is. If the number of counts is not very large, it is more accurate to measure the time interval for a predetermined number of occurrences rather than the number of occurrences within a specified time. The latter method introduces a random error into the count of between zero and one count, so on average half a count. This is called gating error and causes an average error in the calculated frequency of IF equals one slash, or a fractional error of IF slash F equals one slash where TM is the timing interval and F is the measured frequency. This error decreases with frequency, so it is a problem at low frequencies where the number of counts n is small. Units An older method of measuring the frequency of rotating or vibrating objects is to use a stroboscope. This is an intense repetitively flashing light whose frequency can be adjusted with a calibrated timing circuit. The strobe light is pointed at the rotating object and the frequency adjusted up and down. 
when the frequency of the strobe equals the frequency of the rotating or vibrating object, the object completes one cycle of oscillation and returns to its original position between the flashes of light, so when illuminated by the strobe the object appears stationary. Then the frequency can be read from the calibrated readout on the stroboscope. A downside of this method is that an object rotating at an integral multiple of the strobing frequency will also appear stationary. Higher frequencies are usually measured with a frequency counter. This is an electronic instrument which measures the frequency of an applied repetitive electronic signal and displays the result in hertz on a digital display. It uses digital logic to count the number of cycles during a time interval established by a precision quartz time base. Cyclic processes that are not electrical in nature, such as the rotation rate of a shaft, mechanical vibrations, or sound waves, can be converted to a repetitive electronic signal by transducers and the signal applied to a frequency counter. Frequency counters can currently cover the range up to about 100 GHz. This represents the limit of direct counting methods, frequencies above this must be measured by indirect methods. Above the range of frequency counters, frequencies of electromagnetic signals are often measured indirectly by means of heterodyning. A reference signal of a known frequency near the unknown frequency is mixed with the unknown frequency in a nonlinear mixing device such as a diode. This creates a heterodyne or beat signal at the difference between the two frequencies. If the two signals are close together in frequency the heterodyne is low enough to be measured by a frequency counter. This process only measures the difference between the unknown frequency and the reference frequency. To reach higher frequencies, several stages of heterodyning can be used. Current research is extending this method to infrared and light frequencies. Visible light is an electromagnetic wave, consisting of oscillating electric and magnetic fields traveling through space. The frequency of the wave determines its color, 701440000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
In general, frequency components of a sound determine its color, its timbre. When speaking about the frequency of a sound, it means the property that most determines pitch. In wave propagation, measurement, counting, stroboscope, frequency counter. The frequencies an ear can hear are limited to a specific range of frequencies. The audible frequency range for humans is typically given as being between about 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz, though the high frequency limit usually reduces with age. Other species have different hearing ranges. For example, some dog breeds can perceive vibrations up to 60,000 Hz. In many media, such as air, the speed of sound is approximately independent of frequency, so the wavelength of the sound waves is approximately inversely proportional to frequency. In Europe, Africa, Australia, Southern South America, most of Asia, and Russia, the frequency of the alternating current in household electrical outlets is 50 Hz, whereas in North America and Northern South America, the frequency of the alternating current in household electrical outlets is 60 Hz. The frequency of the hum in an audio recording can show where the recording was made, in countries using a European, or an American, grid frequency. Heterodyne Methods Examples Light Sound Line Current Notes and references